Alrighty. Um, I'm just going to stay quiet for now. And wait for the thing to happen. Um, but right now we're going up against Team 2. Torque versus Team 2. I don't know their name. We just picked them off. I guess I'm going to call them Beard Team because that seems like the best solution right now. Um, we're going to start off on Ilios, and we're going to be, we have Shriggs in as a sub DPS player, um, so that's a good start. Um, Smoothbody on the other team has, the last comp season he was in, he was in Bronze, which is super fun. Um, Alright, they s are jumping in, perfect. Starting off with Ilios, King of the Hill. The other team has the um, SR advantage um, from what we have seen, but there should be um, hopefully some some good matches happening, regardless of comp level. Alrighty, let's get this started. Wait, how high can I go here? This is probably the best for me to stick in for the beginning portion. Um, looks like the Torque will be playing um, traditional dive with the Lucio Zin. Um, I'll just need to make sure to stick hot sauce to continuously boop away people from the, the Zen. Um, the red team is going to go with the Fara anti dive, so blue team Five, needs to. Four, this is going to be tough because they're not going to really have anyone to dive one, and they're just going to be kind of running around. One, so they need to find out a game plan on this, and what I would suggest is just diving right on top of them with the defense matrix up and hope to um, take out the Zen. Looks like blue team rotates into side first off. They're going all the way around, trying to rotate behind the red team. We let off their shield. This would be a good time in. Um, they take out the Zenyatta, which is a good step, but they lose their Diva Mech, and then their Winston, and then their Zenyatta gets rezzed. Um, they take out the Tracer, which is good. Um, and it looks like they might be able to take this point first off, which is good. If they can take out that Zen again, that'd be good. Um, They lose their tracer, but take out the Zen. Blue team's gonna, ooh, almost gonna cap point. Their hog rotates onto point. Um, looks like Ellie is gonna stay farther back. She has good positioning here. Their hog can't really do much about that. And finally, blue team takes point. Um, red team is gonna regroup now. Blue's gonna hold high ground. Seems like a waste of defense matrix there, but it should get back up pretty soon. Um, Tracer's going to rotate around backside. Hot Sauce comes in to push them away, but that allows Red Team to rotate through front. The Orisa gets on point and is now going to start changing. That allows them to you come back you in. And they come in, and they have not, the other team has not gotten Ooh. Transcendence yet because of it's only been the first fight, and Transcendence is a <laughs> slow building ult charge, so that allows them to get good value out of that. They kick the hog off the map, but they kill him first, um, and it looks like they're going to keep this point. They lost a couple, but it shouldn't matter. The, both the distances are the same, so um, Pulse Bomb is used. Blue team has a gigantic ult advantage here, having only used Blade last fight, which is well done. Um, red team has switched to the dive comp with the Moira. Um, Shriggs goes down right away, and that's going to allow red team to push through. Winston, they're diving on the Winston. Um, the Winston seems to get out though, um, but nope, he goes down, um, now they're going on the Zenyatta, the Zenyatta is going to go down very quickly with no support in the back, um, and slowly they're going to clean up here as um, Blue Team seems to kind of spread out. It seems like a waste of a defense, uh, a D.Va bomb, but she's just stalling time. I don't know if that's the best solution as a D.Va self-destruct will only save a couple seconds as they rotate out, but, and I would just kind of stay on point, but, um, Blue team still has an ult advantage, I believe, going into the next fight. Um, 
No, it looks like they're gonna be about even. Um, unless blue team engages very quickly. There's a good stalling job done here. I think with the three seconds on 97%, if they take and red team is unable to touch, it will not go into overtime. Um, so it's about the same time difference. Many people don't realize that, but um, if overtime is not engaged, then um, sometimes capping at 97% is a better time to cap. a good pick on their tracer right away. Sorry. Um, they drop the red team drops, or the blue team drops the beat. They lose their Zenyatta, but the other Zenyatta is taken out as well. Um, they use Transcendence, or they use the Dragon Blade, but they don't use, they lost the Zenyatta, and so they don't have anything to counter that. Blue team Torque does it. Um, Tig already got another diva bomb and it takes out the enemy Genji. Teams are about even. I think blue might be down one, but now they're even um, with that dragon blade. Um, Tig gets smacked around a lot. Ellie's trying to stay out of lines of sight. Um, comes in with the transcendence to try and take back point, and I believe they're going to be able to take this back. They're back in full force, and Shriggs is spawn camping the enemy team. Um, this allows them to f punish the enemy tanks that are on the point. Um, and should allow them to collapse back on it, but they do lose their Zenyatta, and then their Lucio, so actually they aren't going to be able to take this, which um, I think is the fault of them not being able to, most of their team not being able to kill the tanks fast enough, the tanks doing a good job of stalling, so, uh, and the Tracer doing a good job of staying and collapsing on uh, the Zenyatta, so they're allowed to, they can keep it. Um, blue team is going to have one more push here. Um, looks like they're going to go straight through mid. Shrig switched to the McCree. He's going to try and counter the Tracer. They have four seconds to get on point. Goldmane jumps in. Um, pulse Bomb misses. Um, and Goldmane goes down, having to die very aggressively. Um, Ellie's going to get Dove on. I assume die. Tig can't get there to peel quickly enough. Um, it's too far away. She's going to go down, and then that's going to be the game. Or the round. Um... Yeah. Hot Sauce is going to keep stalling. Finally goes down. Goldman gets back on point. And Bolts might as well. Stalling for time. It's a good stall, to be honest. But Tig isn't quite able to make it up. Um, Nerf this. That would have been quite a stall by Goldman. Score. Oh. Zero. To one. Close round. Red team was able to take advantage of some uh, positioning errors on the other team, which um, allowed them to take back the point. Um, but they had to switch off anti dive first. Um, looked like the anti dive they weren't really able to set up and stay in position. And blue team did a good job of just diving on top of them and keeping them un uncoordinated. Which is one of the Five, four, um, three, big powers two, of one, dive. Round two. As Capture just feeling very chaotic. Both going to go through the back entrance. Um, they're going to poke through. Blue team's going to go through. Um, for force the recall. They should punish the Winston here. Looks like they're trying to. Um, but they can't manage it. They do take down the Moira. Um, and the Tracer this is a good start. They're even now. Uh, both have lost a healer and a DPS. Um, but now Blue's lost another DPS. They get D.Va out of mech. The Winston's very low. Does not look like they're going to be able to take him down though. And Red Team's going to take point. Shriggs gets sta staggered a bit, which is going to make them have to reset. Their Winston floats over on top of them and is going to try and clean up on this. Um, they do take out the Genji though, so now they're at an even advantage. In fact, blue team has the advantage because their spawns can be closer. They take out the Monkey too, which puts them at a great advantage. Um, let's see if they can take advantage of this. I would assume they're going to jump on the Zenyatta. Um, looks like they're trying to focus them. They get him down. Um, looks like an offensive Devo bomb by Tig. Um, 
and Red uses a uh, Diva Bomb to stall time for their team to get on point, but it looks like they're going to still lose this unless something really wrong happens for the blue team. They lose their Zenyatta, but um, unless they lose their Moira as well, which is actually close to happening. They take the other enemy Winston though, now they just need to focus down the Tracer and the enemy Genji, I believe. Um, they finally take a point after the enemy team getting 50%. The Moira fades onto point. That would be easily, easily punishable, but it does not look like the blue team is going to be able to um, maximize on that. The blue team is playing very spread out right now. Miss the Pulse Bomb. Um, they're going to collapse on the Tracer. Uh, it looks like she used the recall to get out of the Pulse Bomb, which will let her not to escape there, but they take out the Zenyatta. Both teams use Coalescence to give their team extra damage. Um, they lose their Zenyatta, and the rest of the team dives in. Um, Shriggs uses his Dragon Blade and takes out two, which is very good. Um, I'm surprised that the Vien on the other team has not used his blade as the, um, the, uh, Torque has lost to their Zenyatta with their Transcendence, but his is not, which is going to allow, um, Ellie to come back with Transcendence, and so next time he uses his blade, she's going to have that as long as, um, they don't die. Goldmane goes into the goes jumps into the thing uh, out that many room and gets uh, collapsed upon. Blue team is very spread out and red team is playing very closely together and just kind of poking for damage. Finally the dive comes in and they use primal immediately to push people up point. They do get a good boop off of um, Ellie knocking her off, um, so they don't have that transcendence there. Which uh, but still their Genji holds onto Dragon Blade, um, but they won't need it for this fight. So it's probably smart. But Tiggs should jump off. I guess she's staggering. Or trying to stall for percentage. Smart. Sorry. I immediately get into the mindset of you should jump off the map when you die as Baby Diva, but in that case, staggering for a percentage is good. Um They held that for a good while. Let's see if they can take that back. Um they still have transcendence. Um but they wanna they have the ult disadvantage all in all, but all their ults are pretty close, whereas red team is, their other two aren't very close, though if they can stall, get some ults, and then jump in. Um, but they lose their tracer right away. Um, they coalescence in, and so they use transcendence to counter that, because they need to get on point soon. Um, that's going to allow their Genji to use dragon blade, but they lose the enemy, or they kill the enemy. Um, they retake a point. Seems like kind of a C9. Uh, they throw self destruct on the point, but Goldmane puts a bubble on it. Um, still, the enemy Genji holds his Dragon Blade. He's 1 HP. Will he end up going down? He looks oh like he's going back for the health pack. Um, just the tanks. Alright. Uh, both teams are going to use their Dragon Blade. They lose the enemy Winston. They lose the enemy Gen. The, en the red team's Genji goes down. Is this game going to end without that Dragon Blade ever being unsheathed? Um, lots of things are happening. Red team could feasibly take this back. They lose the Genji. Here comes the Genji finally with his Dragon Blade. This could change the tide. It does look like it will. And. Um, Goldman tries to use Primal to knock people off point, but does not manage it. And that's going to probably be round. They gotta take it back first. Oh, there's still 10% left. Dude, they're gonna have one more push if they group up quickly. Um, but more likely they'll just stagger in. Scary tries to touch point, but wastes recall in doing so. Oh, no one's gonna be able to touch. Unfortunate. Victory. Scary probably should have saved the blinks and for a little bit longer to uh, get on point. But that's game. Play of the game. Using the KO clan!